We are still basking in the glory of Llama 3 and now Microsoft has introduced Pi 3. Just to be upfront, models are not out yet, but the technical paper is and I'm more than sure Microsoft will follow its tradition and we will see these Pi 3 models very, very soon. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of this Pi 3 model, which I believe would be a smashing success, especially on the phones and tablets when it is released. So let me give you a very quick overview of what exactly this model is. So Microsoft has introduced this new Pi 3 mini, which is a 3.8 billion model, which can fit on your iPhone or your Android. And still it beats a lot of models on various benchmarks. And I will also show you in detail those benchmarks. So what Microsoft has done in this technical paper is that they have shown that they trained three new versions of Phi LLM. Their approach has really beaten Llama 3 and Mixtrol on a few of the benchmarks. Plus, they have followed the same pattern as Llama 3 and Mixtrol, by the way. So what they have done is that they have used massive data sets and so they trained these models in two phases. First, initially they exposed them to general knowledge and language patterns, followed by intensive training on logical reasoning and specific skills. They will be released in three sizes, 3.8 billion, which is mini, then small in 7 billion, and then medium model in 14 billion. Mini was trained on 3.3 trillion token, whereas small and medium Pi 3 models were trained on 4.8 trillion tokens. Context length is between 4K to 8K depending upon the version of this Phi 3 but with of course with rope uh, you can scale it or extend it. We will see the benchmarking information but one of the good things is that for safety alignment they have used direct preference optimization which is always good. I think that the license of this model will be MIT. I tried to search it in this technical paper but I couldn't get a specific answer. If you look at this screen, what is happening here is that this is a screenshot from um, iPhone with A16 Bionic chip and it's a 4-bit quantized 53 mini which is running on this iPhone and it is generating over 12 tokens per second. How good is that? How good is that? Now, the 53 mini model is a transformer decoder architecture with default context length of 4K. They have also introduced a long context version via long rope that extends the context length to 128K. It is also called as Phi 3 Mini 128K. Phi 3 Mini is built upon a similar block structure as Llama 2 and uses the same tokenizer with vocabulary size of 32K. This means that all packages developed for Llama 2 family of models can be directly adapted to Phi 3 Mini. The model uses 3K hidden dimensions. 32 heads and 32 layers and Microsoft has trained using bfloat 16 for a total of 3.3 trillion tokens and models are already chat fine-tuned and it's um, they have also released a chat template in this technical paper which you can read through I will drop the link to it in video's description the 53 small model 7 billion parameter leverages a a token tokenizer for better multi lingual tokenization with a vocabulary size of over 100k and has default context length 8k. It follows the standard decoder architecture of a 7 billion model class having 32 layers and a hidden size of 4096. To minimize key value cache footprint, the model also leverages a grouped query tension with 4 queries sharing one key. Moreover, 53 small uses alternative layers of tense attention and a novel blo block sparse attention to further optimize on KV cache savings while maintaining long context retrieval performance. Also, an additional 10% multilingual data was also used for this model. As I said earlier, thanks to its small size, 53 mini can be quantized to 4 bits so that it only occupies 1.8 gig of memory. That's it. And they have already tested the quantize model by deploying Phi 3 Mini on iPhone 14 with A16 Bionic chip running natively on device and fully offline, achieving more than 12 tokens per second. How good is that? Now, if you look at this screen where 
it is uh, showing us a benchmarking so these are the results for 53 mini on standard open source benchmarks measuring the models reasoning ability both common sense reasoning and logical reasoning and they have compared to five to mistral 7 billion mixtral 8 into 7 billion jama 7 billion lama 3 instruct 8 billion and gpt 3.5 all the reported numbers are produced with the exact same pipeline to ensure that the numbers are comparable. Now, if you look at this result, for example, look at MMLU. 53 mini, the first column, 68.8. Whereas 53 uh, small is even better. 53 medium is an even better. And look at the numbers from, for example, Lama 3 instruct, just 66. So Lama 3 instruct 8 billion has been beaten by the mini 53 mini 3.8 billion. How good is that? Similarly, on Hellaswag, 53 has beaten Lama 3 instruct. On Anli, Lama 3 has beaten 53. GSM 8K, 53 mini has stood out with a very, very good score. Similarly, on other benchmarks, if you keep going, for example, Trivia QA, Lama 3 was better. But if you compare it to like Mixtrol and other like Jamma and Mistral, they are nowhere to be seen. For example, if I just randomly go down and if I check at this human eval, again there you see um, it is 70, whereas that is 65. Huge difference. Similarly, Truthful QA. So, because Truthful QA is because um, Lama and Meta says that they it is very, very truthful and responsible model. So, this 5.3 beating it even on truthful QA, this is something, I mean, and very, very interesting in my humble opinion. Now, just a tiny bit bit more on the weaknesses. So while 5.3 mini model achieves similar level of language understanding and reasoning ability as much larger model, it is still fundamentally limited by its size for certain tasks. The model simply does not have the capacity to store too much factual knowledge which can be seen, for example, the low performance on Trivia QA, which we also saw here. You see, on Trivia QA, it is just 64, whereas the rest of the lot, like Jamma, Lama 3, they have beaten it by a wide margin. But I think this weakness can be resolved by augmentation with a search engine and a lot of other stuff, which we can use here. Anyway, I really can't wait for this model to get released. And as soon as it, it is out, I will be installing it locally and we will be playing around it. And of course, we will be testing it out on various benchmarks. So stay tuned. If you have any questions or thoughts, please share them in the comments. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please do me a favor and share it among your network as that helps a lot. Thanks for watching.